Hello! Today I am going to show you some of my favorite um, Kane Miller books about teaching social skills. Everybody wants their kid to have great social skills, to be able to get along with others, be able to work well with others, and to be kind. And the Kane Miller books, of that's the more in Asborn books and more, um, the Kane Miller books are really good at teaching those things. They're excellent storybooks. Always well illustrated, great stories. So this is our favorite one, A Tale of Two Beasts. So the story teaches kids to look at things from more than one perspective. There's two sides to the story. First, this little girl tells the story about a strange beast. So she talks about finding a beast. He's so strange. She's going to wrap him up in a scarf to keep him warm. She's going to take him home and put him, make him a special box house. She's going to show him to her friends. She doesn't understand why the beast eventually runs away. Then there's part two. The, from the little beast's perspective, and he says it's the terrible beast, and she's the beast. He says he's just minding his own business in the trees when a terrible beast kidnaps him. She ties him up in a scarf. She makes him sit in a box with nothing to do and nothing to hang on. He is so hot. He is being stared at by all these people. He's scared and he's mad, so he runs away. But this ending is the same both ways. He goes, they go back to their original way. They think it's, it's so quiet. It's kind of boring. I'm lonely for that beast. And it says, there she is, or he is waiting for me. They seem quite pleased to see me. And I begin to think that maybe, quite, just maybe, she wasn't that terrible after all. And they run off and play together in the night. Two sides to every story. My kids love that one. It's a quick read. And yet, it's a really interesting story. So, Mom likes that. Okay, here's a book called Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge about a little boy who lives next door to an old folks home. <clears throat> and he makes friends with all the elderly folks, which I think is wonderful. It teaches kids that elderly people are valuable and um, not scary. A lot of kids are scared of elderly people and that you can be friends with them and it's valuable. He becomes special friends with one lady in particular, and her mom says, oh, poor Miss Nancy, she lost her memory. So he goes around asking all the other old folks in the old folks' home, what is a memory? Someone says, something that makes you cry. Another person says, something that makes you laugh. Another person says, something as precious as gold. So little Wilfred, he wants to help Miss Nancy remember her memories. So he goes around collecting things. He thought of something that made him cry, and he got it, and he put it in. He put the medal his grandpa gave him in there because he missed his grandpa. He found his puppet that always makes people laugh, and he put it in a basket. He found a football, which was as precious as gold, and he put it in a basket. And he took them all to Miss Nancy. And Miss Nancy thought, what a dear, strange child to bring me these wonderful things. And then she started to remember and each one of the things he brought triggered a memory and she told him about her childhood and her life. And they had a, a sweet, happy moment together because he helped her find her memories again. Very cute story. This one is called Bears Don't Read and it's just kind of a silly story. It's fun. So this bear, he finds a book in the forest. He thinks life is lonely, I'm bored. He finds a book in the forest and he thinks, whoa, that bear looks like me. I want to read that book. He doesn't know how to read. So he tells his family he wants to learn how to read. They all laugh at him. They tell him, you can't learn how to read. Bears don't read. You're being dumb. And I don't think they say the word dumb. but um, He travels down to a town. He's going to ask somebody to help him. But all the people take one look at him and freak out and run away. So he finally finds the school and he goes in and in comes a SWAT team trying to stop him. And he's trying to tell them, I just want to learn how to read. Finally, in comes a little girl and says, hey, that's my book. And that's the bear in my book. 
She's not afraid of him. She doesn't care that he's different. She tells him, I will teach you how to read. He comes back to their house and they become great friends. She teaches him the alphabet. They learn to paint and draw and play together. They become great friends and she teaches him to read. He reaches his goals and she teaches everyone, including her mom and the police chief who tried to arrest the bear, that being different is not a bad thing. The last one I wanna talk about is Do Nice, Be Kind, Spread Happy. This is a really cool book. It's basically random acts of kindness, okay? The whole book has all these different ideas. Happy unbirthday. Uh-oh, you forgot Aunt Natalie's birthday. You feel bad, there's no excuse. Oh wait, there's always next year. Hold on, why not a minute? Why not surprise somebody with a happy unbirthday card? Okay, go cards. Grocery shopping can be a bit boring. Often when you finish the shopping part and loaded the bags in the car, all you want to do is go home and eat some of the yummy stuff you bought. Save a shopper one last job by offering to return their shopping cart to the cart rack. If the cart rack looks untidy with some carts not stacked properly, you could tidy it up for a double dose of good deed. So there's all these different fun ideas of kind, easy things to do. What a wonderful, valuable thing for kids to learn and do. Especially, this book is especially good for a little bit older kids. I think it'd be a little whoosh over my kid's head because they're six and three. The six-year-old might get into some of it. But this is a great book. It's really cool and it's really, I love the look of it. Um, there's also two chapter book series for little kids called Billy B. Brown and Hey Jack. I was going to show you that, but I can't find the books. My son must have confiscated them. Um, and... They're really good. They teach little lessons about life. Um, we read one called Billy B. Brown, The Little White Lie, and she told an exaggerated lie, and her friend knew she was lying, and it made her sad, and then she decided to be brave and confess and tell everyone that she told a lie, and everyone said, we understand. Anyway, they're just cute little, super simple chapter books. Um, I hope that you will browse the rest of the Kane Miller selection. There's so many great stories. A lot of them have great lessons in them but they're all entertaining. Have a great day.